how did you do, uh, you know, your first, well, actually, how, what is, actually, how did it feel to lift forward and, and kind of get into the group thing? Oh, yeah, it felt pretty good. Uh, I haven't played guard since my rookie year, my first game, but it felt pretty good to be out there this weekend and playing good, being out with my boys. I feel like up front, you know, we did a pretty good job. There's always stuff we can work on, but I feel like you know, we made a progress from what we were last year, and I think it's going to be pretty good. It seems like maybe y'all didn't run the ball as well as y'all make the crowd from one or two. Why do you think that, that might have been? Um, I mean, every week, you know, there's stuff that, you know, we've been going against each other at training camp, game planning, this and that. But I feel like we was making, you know, did some good uh, blocks. You know, we were making some guys move out the hole, but we just didn't get what we were supposed to put them getting. But I think that's something that we can take to this week's practice, you know, work on. And I think it should be better this weekend. Hey, Tennis, you and Larry teaming up. How excited are you about that potential? Are you guys playing next to each other? Got to know him all these years. Oh, yeah, that's my boy right there. Um, it's gonna be, I think um, it's going to be a pretty good pretty good year, you know, for us. Uh, you know, I'm on the left side. I'm playing left guard. He's at left tackle. Uh, it's going to be real. It's going to be real. But I think the whole front, the whole offensive line, you know, we got Justin, we got Max, you got Charlie, you got uh, Lane, you got Cannon. I think this, this group is going to do a good thing this year for this team. And I think we win some games because of what we do up front. What sort of asset is Yeah, he's been very helpful for me. I know when Justin, you know, he came into the league as a tackle. Uh, played tackle with Seahawks in the Super Bowl. Then he ended up moving to the center. So, you know, when I first got moved to left guard, he was just talking like, hey, man, you need some advice. You know, just tell me, you know, I can help you out. You know, I've been through this. So, you know, I, I listened to some things from him, and I learned a lot from him. And uh, he's a great guy, you know. So I'm happy for him to be on this team and be our star center. Yeah, just to uh, own in on it and just, you know, just don't take it as, oh, you just been moved. Just take it as that you put you, they put you in a position to, you know, better yourself and help the team. Yeah. And I, you know, I accepted that. I think that um, I'm smart, so me learning the plays and learning the different stuff at left, left guard versus being a right tackle. It's pretty, you know, it wasn't hard for me. Um, physicality, I think I bring that to the table. Um, my athleticism, you know, I think I can use that in the inside, and I think it's going to help. I know every year is different, but what do you think it is that makes this offensive line maybe an upgrade from last year what you guys were doing as far as all the movement, moving you inside, and some of the additions you made? I mean, I just think it just comes from, you know, the guys we have in the room. Um, like I said, I think coaches, everybody else said, did a good job of bringing in guys who, you know, value being a Houston Texan. So uh, all these guys have put in the work this training camp. Uh, we established that we can't do nothing as a team unless we win up front, and that's what we got to do. And um, I think that's, I think that's the goal for us this season to you know set the tone up front. And I think we'll do that. Yeah, every O line coach has uh, their different uh, ways of teaching, and I think Coach Campbell has came in, and you know he's taught us a lot from what all the stuff he's learned over the years. So I think uh, we're doing a good job of picking up on his philosophy. I think it's gonna be good for us. When did you know they were gonna have these positions? Did, was there like I know because you kind of practiced with those for a little while, and then it's been more specifically guard. I mean, well, it's not completely set in stone like where I'm gonna be at, but as of right now, I'm at left guard. So when I first came in the training camp, I was going right tackle, left tackle, left guard all over the place. But it wasn't just a movement. It was just seeing how comfortable I can get in each position and learn and see what's, what's best for the offensive line. Tess, things can change fast, as you know. How comfortable are you? If they just tell you, okay, we pick our best five, is you back to right tackle? Oh, yeah. I think I can just go back out there and do it again. You know, I practice it every day, so I think they give me prepared for it. Something was like that. You know, that's why I think Coach them took it the way they did. We're moving me from tackle to guard, tackle to guard, stuff like that. Titus, how much do you think you, your game has elevated since being with um, Coach Campion so far? Uh, I think it's – I got better, a lot, a lot better. Uh, he teaches a lot of technique, uh, stuff like that, to help my game. And, you know, I just – out there playing my first two years, and now the game has slowed down for me and stuff like that. So with all his technical work and stuff like that and his mentality towards each game, each play, 
Just help me out. David, David and, uh, and, and on Saturday night, David and Davis Mills, both Coach Cousin and Davis Mills, both mentioned the fish packages that y'all saw a little bit from, from the Cowboys, and maybe that was uh, maybe that helped contribute to some of the issues on third down. Where are you guys at with your comfort, comfort level of uh, recognizing blitzes and, and, and protecting, especially with your new configuration of the line? Uh, I don't think we have a problem with picking up blitzes. I just think that it's the preseason, and you're going against each other for so much during training camp. So versus the preseason versus the regular season, you're not in the regular season. You working on practice, what the other team's going to be doing. So then I think when it comes to season, we get the scheme up on what the team doing. We'd be just fine. Guys, how, how much? Uh, they may have already asked us. I apologize. How much of a challenge is it to learning the position at left guard after being at right tackle for so long? Uh, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't hard at all. Like I said, I, I'm pretty smart. So uh, I played guard as a rookie. I played through train throughout training camp. I uh, started my first game against the Jags, uh, my rookie year. So I still remember mostly everything. For me, it was just the technique wise, like just picking up stuff a little bit faster, um, being more you know tight when I'm in the inside versus. I have a lot more room to do stuff when I'm at tackle. So that basically was the only thing different. Is it, uh, is it, um, is it tough? Is it, uh, what's right way to put it? As far as getting ready for games at guard versus tackle, is there much difference with the same mindset? Um, same mindset for me. Uh, you can't take nobody in this league different. Everyone in this league has, is getting paid to be here for a reason. Yeah, you have guys who get better numbers than other guys, but I take each game the same. I take each player the same. Well, what has been your impression of the defensive line, both going up against them in camp and then also what you've seen from them in the first two preseason games? Pretty good defense line. They move around a lot. The linebackers move around a lot. I think we got a lot of talented guys up front. I think, like I said, the, the games this year, we do a good job up front on both sides of the ball. This t football team should be pretty good. Todd, uh, what does it mean to a veteran that Nick Casario he brought in 53 players, 30 of at least five years of experience, instead of maybe loading up on rookies? Oh, yeah, that experience helps a lot, especially, like, in the locker room and stuff like that. Guys, you know, us, I, you know I got I got uh, plenty of guys, like I said, on the offensive line that I can go talk to. You have Laramie, you have Justin, you have Lane, you have Marcus. All those guys have played seven or more years. That's a lot of experience, you know, to talk to some of us young guys who are already on the team. And I think that's what their goal was to do. So we, we want to win the win now mode. So that's the thing. That's what does it was. Does that help the culture? It does help the culture. I think those guys are some pretty good guys, and they brought in people who value being a Houston Texan. Right, last after, after the game Saturday, Mark Ingram called you a beast. <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh, that's my boy, man. Uh, Mark Ingram's a great dude, man. He's one of the, one of by far one of the best people I've met uh, on and off the field. He's uh, a great leader for this team, and he's going to be a big, good running back for this team this year too.